Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about C sharp system reflection and how it can be of use to you. So let's get started. Basically, I have a sample class here which has a few public members here and one a private member and then a few methods. Uh, essentially, what I want to be able to do is uh, uh, supply any object of any class to a function or a method and that can basically print out the various values of various properties uh, of that object. So I'll show you a few ways to do that, but let's see how we are going to invoke this. So I create a new object and I'm just giving it to a static method in this class a demo dot write object and I give it the object and see what it prints. So here you can see it prints that a is equal. If you look here, you can see it prints a is equal to one, b is equal to gore. And the one thing to notice about A and B is that these are public uh, uh, public fields and we had an extra private field that's not printed. So out of the box you can do something very simple like this and to do that uh, let me just show you and go into the method demo write object and see what it is. It basically uses a class called JavaScript serializer and it serializes and it uh, gives you give the object and it serializes it and uh, then we are just printing it out. If you're just wondering where this JavaScript serializer class is, it's available in .NET 4.0 under system.web.extensions. And the way to include it is through uh, system.webscript uh, uh, serialization and you can get this class. So, but the one thing to note is that out of the box, it didn't really print the private property. I believe there is a way to uh, go through some little bit more elaborate method to print private properties. But so let's just continue on with the second way of doing things. So the second way of I had was using a library called newtonsoft.json and uh, I can take a look and see how that uh, works here. And it's pretty much the same thing except it uses a um, different method of a JavaScript serializer and this is in the library newtonsoft.json and uh, that also does not really print the private properties out of the box the way it is. But this may be good enough for being able to see uh, the fields, uh, public fields of an arbitrary object. So the last method that I want to uh, kind of show you uh, right now here is the method which uses the serial system.net reflector and uh, let's see how that works. And if I just go in there you can see it prints the value a0, b is 1 and gore, uh, b was gore, a was 1 and then it also is able to access the property which is the my property. If you look at it this was the my property and it prints the value of zero which is the default value and just to elaborate a little bit as to how I'm doing this uh, uh, one simple way to look at it is uh, here uh, basically if an element comes in if it is null or is value type or it's a string I just print the element otherwise it calls something called element dot get type get members and the trick here is the flags are given. So see if I wanted to get the private flags, I have to give it the binding flags public, binding flag non-public. So I can get the non-public values and uh, I get a member info structure. And this is all part of system.reflection. So if you look at it, uh, you should include system.reflection if you want to do this. And then it can be fairly straightforward. Once you get a member info type, uh, you can look at a particular member info and you can uh, get things like field info and property info and from that you can get some type and you can check if it's a value type then you can print the f dot name and f dot get value so hopefully this can be of useful and system dot reflection might be needed if you just want don't want to have out of the box only the public private uh, properties printed if you want to know more you can go to my website gorsocius.com and search for C sharp uh, and various other methods and uh, you should be able to see these and many other videos. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.